how to eat and lose weight. Look at this diagram. On the left, we have what to eat, and on the right, what to avoid. As we've been telling you for a long time, donuts, cake, uh, bread, beer, uh, pretzels, snack food, all of the things to avoid. While on the other side, chicken, beef, broccoli, avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, are all healthy things that you should be having as part of your diet and avoiding all that other bad stuff. Eat, this is part one of what to eat. Eat fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, fish, preferably oily fish, high in omega-3 fatty acids, skinless poultry, and plant-based alternatives. Avoid fat-free and low-fat dairy products. The low-fat industry has made us all fatter. You realize that if this low-fat industry was legitimate, we wouldn't have this obesity problem. Eat more healthier fats and non-tropical oils. Look at this low-carb food that pyramid. It's You should have more chicken, beef, fish, then eggs and cheese. You know, we're telling everybody to start the day with bacon and eggs. Uh, fats, butter, mayonnaise, olive oil. In fact, uh, this week in Google Health, there was a report that butter is not a bad thing for your health or your arteries. Non-starchy vegetables and nuts and fibrous fruits. You know, uh, the fruits are high in sugar, so you should have only fruits that have a lot of fiber. Eat what to eat part two, beef. The fat content in beef regulates your hormones. The protein also helps rebuild muscle tissue and keeps you lean. Eggs, the leucine found in eggs makes them a great food to include when trying to lose weight. This amino acid helps reduce the amount of lean tissue loss while increasing fat loss and stabilizing glucose levels. Kale, extremely high in finer fiber. Kale helps you feel full, but it's a source of nutrients such as vitamin A, C, and folic acids and minerals. Broccoli, low in carbs and high in fiber. It helps you feel full, sustain your energy levels. Its natural diuretic effect helps you lose weight. Beans, an excellent source of bean protein and are low in calories. Fills you up so you don't feel hungry less without feeling hungry. Fills you so, well, here's a go. Beans, an excellent source of lean protein and are low in calories. Fills you up so you eat less without feeling hungry. Fat-burning foods, eggs, oatmeal, broccoli, whole milk, butter, cheese, uh, nuts, uh, fish, and garlic, which is something that many of us don't take advantage of. Part 3. Eat Part 3. Beef. The fat content in beef regulates your hormones. The protein also helps rebuild muscle tissue and keeps you lean. Almost half of the fat in beef is is mono non-saturated fat called oleic acid. The same heart healthy fat that's found in olive oil. Second, most of the saturated fat in beef actually decreases your heart disease risk either by lowering LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, or by reducing your ratio of total cholesterol to HDL, good cholesterol. Now, here are the beef facts. Beef is a power pack of nutrients that benefits people of all ages and maintaining both day-to-day and long-term health. Beef is the number one source of protein, zinc, vitamin B12, according to a study published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association. A3, A, A3 ounce serving of beef provides protein, helps build a strong and muscular body. Zinc helps create a healthy immune system and heal wounds. Phosphorus necessary for strong teeth and bones. Iron helps carry oxygen to the blood, to all cells and muscles to prevent fatigue. B, complex vitamins helps release energy from food, includes beta, vitamin B6, 12, niacin, and ribofibrin. It takes, takes 10,000 years, but the Pleiodite is making a comeback. 
originally modeled after the diet of primitive man, the Playo lifestyle is becoming more and more well-known as authors and events are inspiring folks to give it a try. And basically what they're saying is, go back to what was natural before uh, the farmers' uh, agriculture took over, before we started eating corn and wheat and all those things that were not healthy for our diet. You know, we came out of uh, uh, 10,000 years of the, of the human body growing and getting healthier and stronger. It was when we started adding the cake and the wheat and the vegetables and, and uh, all those other grains that reduce our health. Stop the video and give this a good read. Limit sodium and salt, saturated fats, sweet and added sugars, including sugar sweetened beverages. And of course, limit your carbohydrate intake. Look at this diagram. Number one, you eat sugar. You like it. You crave it. It has addictive properties. Two, blood sugar levels spike. Dopamine is released in the brain and addiction mass insulin secreted to drop blood sugar levels. Three, blood sugar levels fall rapidly. High insulin levels cause immediate fat storage. Body craves the lost sugar high. Four, hunger and cravings. Low blood sugar levels cause increased appetite and cravings that the cycle is repeated. And that's why sometimes we feel like we, we have to have something to eat. We're starving. This is the reason why we have that sensation of starving. Avoid high fructose corn syrup, trans fats, partially hydrogenated oils, toxic trans fats in processed food. This is the reason why we, uh, we have to start eating like grown-ups. You know, that sweet tooth that we have is, is adding pounds to us day by day by day. Uh, cake, cookies, crackers, french fries, pie, bread, ice cream, uh, full calorie soda. All these things contain high fructose corn syrup and trans fats. And they're not healthy for our heart and even worse, not healthy for our waistline. Healthy tips number one. Choose wisely. Even with healthier foods, ingredients, and nutrient content can vary by brand and by preparation. Compare nutrition information on the package labels and select products with the lowest amounts of sodium, added sugars, saturated fat, and trans fat, and no partially hydrogenated oils. Watch your caloric intake. To maintain, consume only as many calories as you use up through physical activity. If you want to lose weight, consume fewer calories or burn more calories. Look at this uh, label here. Ingredients, enriched flour, flour, ribofibrin, sugar, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, coca, cornstarch, which is just sugar, hydrogenated oils. You know, if you just take a minute and read a label, you can save yourself a lot of grief. Healthy diet tips too. Eat reasonable portions. Often this is less than you are served. Eat a wide variety of foods to get all the nutrients your body needs. Prepare and eat healthier meals at home. You'll have more control over ingredients. And crucial, carry water with you all day so you can flush out all that fat that's uh, accumulating in your body and also help you reduce uh, calories. Please subscribe and share this information with everyone on your email list. Please like us on Saturday on Facebook.com Saturday Diet. Go to JoanBars.com to subscribe and get your free 10-page weight loss report and Joan Bars recipe. Go on over. It's an instant download. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to review our new improved weight loss Igor packages. And the bronze package, the silver package, and the gold package, we have a package to fit anyone's budget. Great products, and they've been greatly improved and a lot better benefit for your dollar. See you on the next video. Please spread the word. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.